Today the video is going to be talking about um, behavior management and how to manage when uh, Ryan's two major um, behaviors, which is one is for attention and one is for when he's upset or aggressive or um, uh, escalated. Uh, the typical behaviors that you want to look out for are his scratching, biting, as well as his uh, pinching. So let's cover uh, attention seeking first. So there are times when Ryan would approach his teachers or his parents and he would grab onto their arm, um, usually appropriately, but sometimes he does this scratching behavior. So we want to try to uh, minimize and redirect all those. And I'll show you how. Uh, first, you need uh, what we call a reinforcer, something that he likes um, uh, with you, especially when it's uh, for his upset behavior. But so right now for attention seeking, let's say Ryan approaches you and wants to have your attention and he grabs your arm. Um, even though it's an appropriate type of grabbing, um, we try to minimize uh, any sort of uh, grabbing behavior and you have to redirect it to an appropriate behavior. So let's say he grabs your arm, uh, try to not pay so much attention to him first, take his arm, uh, take his hand and move it to your elbow to tap your elbow. Yeah, uh, tap your elbow so that you can teach him that this is the right way to get your attention. So when he taps your elbow, just two taps, three taps, whichever you prefer, then at that moment, give him the attention. It's like, Oh yes, Ryan. Hi, how are you? And you know, just speak to him and give him the appropriate attention when he does it appropriately. So repeat it ev this every time he is looking for attention, he wants your attention. Um, and slowly, slowly, you, you just move his hand towards your elbow and then you can just release. Instead of making him do the entire tap on his own, then you can uh, just release it, let him learn that, okay, he can do this on his own. Okay? Uh, the next thing, uh, when Ryan is upset or he's trying to get towards something he really wants or he is um, just agitated, angry because he, of many different reasons, uh, and he starts scratching or biting. So the important thing to remember here is to number one, keep yourself safe and number two, keep the child safe. So make sure that wherever the child is, he is not, um, it's relatively safe, is unable to hurt himself, uh, soft area would be best. Um, and of course you have to consider that the area is easily manageable. So, uh, assume Ryan's in front of me and he reaches for me with his hands like this, like reaches for my neck or for my arm. What you can do is the moment he starts reaching, the parent can take hold of the wrist, like right here, turn it and push it back towards his chest. Alright, so push it back and hold it there until he, you feel like he's releasing the strength. Then release it and take a half a step back. Be close enough that you can uh, assist him if he is injuring himself. But uh, so you want to create a distance so he's not, it's not easy for him to grab you. So as you see that, as you see he's slowly, slowly calming down, what you can do is you can say, good job, Ryan. Take, I like how you're calming down. Take that little bit of reinforcement, whether it's food or a toy, um, something that he likes. Then you can say, I like how you're calming down. So I tell you what, here, you can have this toy or this uh, like cookie or chocolate. And then let him slowly calm down himself. It will take a few, a few rounds of that. Uh, usually it will take a little bit of time, but uh, as he slowly de-escalates, continue praising him, continue telling him that he's doing good, and then uh, increase the amount of time that he has to wait in order to get the reinforcer. So, and then once he's fully calm, then you can start giving him appropriate attention again. So whenever he's calm, he's uh, doing the right things, we want to give him attention, we want to give him the, the input that he's looking for. And yeah, so that is behavioral management. Um, again, if he bites, try to just um, 
hold him by his shoulder or if you're already holding on to his wrist uh, you can move the wrist up to his chest so like this and then push just gently push him backwards and avoid the, the mouth from biting because you, he can't reach down here in order to bite you so that's the, the ideal situation where you are holding on to his wrist you push his hands here and you uh, uh, gently push back onto his chest so he is not able to injure you or himself and once again when the strength is leaving his hands release him and you, he can uh, let him come down on his 